Welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about seven new updates on the Galaxy S26 Ultra. Some are good, some might make you say, Samsung, what are you doing? Let's jump right in. First up, the design. The Galaxy S25 Ultra had slightly rounded corners because users complained the sharp ones were uncomfortable. But the edges were still so sharp, you could almost cut an apple with them. With the S26 Ultra, Samsung has fixed that mistake. The edges and corners are now softer and rounder, making it much more comfortable to hold. Next, the chip. It's not going to be called Snapdragon 8 Elite 2. Qualcomm has officially named it Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 5. Samsung will use its own custom version, which will be called Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 5 for Galaxy. It's a long name, but expects serious performance. According to Ice Universe, the S26 Ultra's display will have surprises. While he didn't give specifics, leaks point to two big features. Flex Magic Pixel, which uses AI to control viewing angles and protect your privacy when entering passwords or banking. COE Technology, which offers deeper blacks, better outdoor visibility, higher brightness, and lower power consumption. And before we go further, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss our latest tech videos. Another big change, built-in magnets. The S26 Ultra now has G2 support built right in, so you won't need a special case anymore. Despite the magnets, the phone is 1 gram lighter than last year and only 7.9 millimeters thick, making it one of the lightest Ultra flagships around. For comparison, the iPhone 17 Pro Max weighs 231 grams. The camera bump is almost doubling in size, 4.5 millimeters compared to 2.4 millimeters on the S25 Ultra, but Samsung is using a camera island design to make it look less chunky. The thicker bump is because both the main and 5X telephoto cameras are moving to larger apertures, which means better photos in both daylight and low light. Now for the not-so-good news. For months, we heard the 3X telephoto lens would finally upgrade from 10 megapixels to 12 with a 20% larger pixel size. Turns out, that's not happening. Instead, Samsung is still using a 12MP sensor, but only utilizing 10MP of it which effectively makes it smaller than the one on the S25 Ultra, about 11% smaller, in fact. Ice Universe says this is already locked in since the phone is entering mass production. Charging speeds are also disappointing. Rumors said the S26 Ultra would finally jump to 60W charging, but the battery certification still shows 45W. Ice Universe insists it's still 60W, so maybe the certification just tested it with a 45W charger. But the S26 Pro and Edge are confirmed to stick at just 25W. That's bad when even the base iPhone 17 supports 40W and Samsung's mid-range phones do 45W. If Samsung keeps cutting features like this, even diehard fans might start wondering if it's worth sticking around. What do you think about the Galaxy S26 Ultra's updates? Drop your thoughts in the comments. And if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you never miss our latest tech content.